Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Juanita Borgete, and I'm excited to be here to showcase some tips and tricks that will help you become more efficient with MYB Advanced Cloud ERP. During this session, I will cover various ways to optimize your workflows and streamline processes in MYB Advanced. Please check out our YouTube channel for more video content and our website for more tips and tricks. So let's dive in and explore how you can make the most out of MYB Advanced Cloud ERP. The first thing you'll notice is that we have embedded the Verde website down here. I've also added a link to see multi-currency. This is particularly useful for those of you who frequently visit a vendor's or customer's website or need to keep an eye on multi-currency rates. Instead of having to navigate away from your dashboard, you can create an embedded link directly within it for quick and easy access. To embed a website link into your dashboard, follow these simple steps. Let's say we are a construction firm and we want to add a job site camera to our dashboard. First, go to the design section of your dashboard and click on add a widget. From the list of options, select embedded page. In the next window, you can enter the URL of the website you want to embed and give it a name. In our example, we'll just name it job site camera. Once you finish, you will see the website embedded in your dashboard. It's a simple process, but it can save you time and provide quick access to websites you need to visit frequently. Another helpful feature is the ability to visually distinguish between multiple companies within MYB Advanced. You have multiple companies or a test company, you can change the color scheme for each company to easily identify which company you're working in. For instance, when working in head office, we can set the color scheme to green, while the branches can have the purple color scheme. This can prevent confusion and help you keep track of which company you're currently working in. To customize the appearance of your company groups, you can easily change the logo, colors, and more. To get started, go to the company groups section. If you don't have access to this section, you can reach out to your IT manager or admin to make the changes for you. Once you're in the company group, you can go to the visual appearance tab and override the default colors with the ones you prefer. It's a simple process that allows you to easily identify which company you're working in at a glance. If you have multiple branches, you'll need to make these changes for each individual branch. Now, when it comes to managing screen layouts in MYAB Advanced, there are many ways to customize the grids to suit your needs. You can do this not only for a particular grid, but for any grid within the system. To rearrange columns, simply pick and drag the column to where you want it to be. For example, if you want the customer column to appear first, you can move it there. You can also move the status column to another position if you wish. It is important to note that any changes you make to your grid layout will only affect your own view of the screen and other users can have a different view of the same screen. There's another way to customize the screen and remove any unnecessary columns. You can click on the small icon here and it will display all the available columns in the selected ones. Let's say you want to remove the post period column. You can simply highlight it and move it to the right column. After that, click OK and the post period column will disappear from the screen. There are other ways to quickly find the information you need in the invoices and memo screen. For instance, let's say you want to see only the records with amount greater than 10,000. You can apply a filter by clicking on the filter icon, selecting the appropriate field, for example, amount, setting the criteria to greater than, and then entering the value of 10,000. Then only the records that meet this criteria will be displayed. To remove the filter, simply click on the clear filter button. There are also quick ways to find specific information we need. For instance, we can sort the data by clicking on the column headers. If we want to see customers whose names contain the letter A, we can use the filter feature. Here we can put in A in the search bar and the system will display customers that start or contain the letter A. For example, customers whose names start with AA will be displayed. These are just a few examples of how we can easily find the data we need. You can also drag and drop a column into the bar here and create a quick filter for yourself. 
rearranging, sorting, adding columns, and creating new tabs are some of the features that you can use within this tool. Additionally, you can also hide columns by moving them out of the grid. We can create additional tabs to organize our data more efficiently. For example, we could have one tab for credit memos and another one for open items. Here's how to do it. Access the filtering tool by clicking on the filter settings, then click on the plus sign to add a new tab. From there, choose the status filter and select open to show only the open documents. Save the new tab and name it open docs. You can also make this your default view when you open invoices and memos. Additionally, you have the option to share this tab with your team or keep it for personal use only by clicking the share button. Another way I use this feature frequently is when I need to approve bills for payments. I have one tab for all records and another for check. To create a tab for cash payments, I select the all records tab, click on the filter button, choose payment method equals cash and apply the filter. Now only the items that are to be paid by cash appear. I can save this filter by clicking on save and naming it cash and it will become a new tab. So now I have three tabs, all records, cash and check. This method provides fast and effortless ways to view specific information, such as applying filters to display credit memos, debit memos, or even if you want back orders in the sales order screen. We are also provided with the functionality of copying and pasting documents. This is incredibly useful when dealing with large sales orders or purchase orders with numerous line items. By selecting the copy option, we can then open a new document and paste the copy data into it. From there, we can modify the document as needed to ensure that it accurately reflects the order for the customer. This process is straightforward and saves us a huge amount of time. Another feature that can be helpful is the ability to create templates for frequently used sales orders. This allows you to quickly access the sales order and make any necessary changes. You can easily just paste the template, modify it and save it. To create a template, simply save the sales order as a template and give it a name. Then you can easily access the template and make any necessary modifications. MOB Advanced allows users to easily drag and drop documents and the system will automatically tally the number of files uploaded under the Files button. From there, users can easily download or open the documents. An excellent feature in MOB Advanced is the ability to assign a meaningful name to an uploaded document such as tips and tricks. Then by using the global search bar, I can quickly locate this document by entering tips. And once I navigate to the file section, I can see the recently uploaded document. This feature is useful for searching any documents uploaded against any records in the system. I highly recommend naming your documents when storing them in MYAB Advanced to make it easy to search for your documents. As demonstrated, I was able to quickly find the document I just saved by entering its name in the global search bar. I would like to also show you another useful feature in MYAB Advanced, which allows you to export grids or reports to Excel. The good thing about this is that the connection between MYAB Advanced and Excel is live. As an example, I downloaded a report earlier and the new sales orders have been processed in the system since then. When I click on refresh data in Excel, it prompts me for my login details. Every Excel report created from MYAB Advanced by downloading data can be refreshed to show the latest data. I can format this report to be more presentable and every time I refresh the data, the report is updated while maintaining the same formatting. When closing the month, a helpful tip is to set the date at the top right corner to the end of the month. This prevents accidental transactions in the following month and ensures that new documents created within the current month are dated correctly. For example, if a new payable or receivable is created, the system will automatically use the end of the month date as documented date. This ensures that all documents are properly dated and organized within the correct month, even if you're working on them in the following month. 
Now, keyboard shortcuts can be a great productivity booster, especially for those who are used to using all the systems that rely heavily on keyboard commands. MYOB Advance offers a range of keyboard shortcuts that allow you to perform tasks quickly and efficiently. To make it easy for you to reference and use these shortcuts, we have drafted a blog post where you can access all the shortcuts available for MYOB Advanced. One of the keyboard shortcuts that I rely on the most is Shift F. This shortcut is what we call a quick filter. Whenever I am working on a grid and I need to apply a filter to a specific field, I simply hit Shift F and the filter is immediately applied without the need to perform any additional steps like right clicking or using contains RM or similarly if I want to remove the filter I just hit shift F again while I'm on the field and the filter is removed. This shortcut saves me a lot of time and makes filtering a lot more efficient. So if I wanted to look at all my sales orders that were completed I just hit shift F and that will immediately filter to that. As previously mentioned, clicking the Save button on this filtered grid will create a new tab at the top specific to that filter. This is a quick and efficient method to display the data you require on the screen. Another useful keyboard shortcut is available when working with a sales order. In this case, we have a couple of shortcuts that are associated with function keys. For example, pressing the F3 will activate a lookup box for us. Um, this will allow me to quickly access the magnifying glass icon in the field and bring up the pop-up of the relevant information. One more shortcut key that I use is the F4 key. When I'm in an existing order in the system, I can hit F4 and I can switch to four mode and view all the fields in a more organized way. This helps me to easily see all the information in one place and then hitting F4 will take me back to my grid mode. Another frequently used keyboard shortcut is Control Q, um, and this comes in handy when I need to search for something quickly using this universal search bar at the top of the screen. So by hitting Control Q, you can see my cursor jumps instantly to the search bar, allowing me to enter the keywords for my search. Recently, MYOB have introduced some new features, one of which is the DAX schema browser. This is particularly useful for those who design or write reports for their company and need to view the details from a data perspective. For example, let's say we want to view the data that makes up a specific screen, such as our stock item here. To access the DAX schema browser, we click on the tools menu where a new selection has been added. The DAX schema browser is contextual, so it will be filtered down to the specific screen we are on. When we click on it, a new tab will open. This feature provides a detailed view of the data at the field level. For instance, if you are on the inventory item screen, you can view all the different fields such as the primary key, inventory CD, which is a 30 character field, as well as any other key relationships, attributes or user defined fields. This tool is useful for report or inquiry building, allowing you to gain insight into the database and its relationships. One of the tools that many report designer professionals are familiar with is the inspect element feature. However, not all users will have access to it, so it may not appear on everyone's screens. If you do have access, you can activate it by either clicking on the inspect element option or using the keyboard shortcut Alt control click and this will change your cursor to a question mark allowing you to highlight or hover over any data fields on the form or screen. Once you click on a field it will provide you with a wealth of information such as the data class or the table it belongs to, in this case the inventory item table and the specific data field you're interacting with such as the inventory CD. If you're creating an inquiry and need to determine which tables to include in your data sets, as well as their relationships, the inspect element feature is extremely useful. With the inspect element feature and the schema browser, you can quickly and easily identify the tables and the fields you need to access in order to create your inquiry. If I now go to the generic inquiry screen and choose stock items as an example, I can see that it is associated with the inventory items table and the output side is the results grid. 
here I can see inventory CD. To build a report, I need to add the inventory item and the data access class and use the inventory CD to bring the desired information in the result grid. As a report writer or inquiry writer, MYAB Advance has made the process very easy by hovering over and selecting the inventory item row and clicking the Add Related Table button, you can see all the key tables that you can interact with, with the relationships created automatically. For instance, if you want to add BOM item data, you can select the BOM item and MYAB Advance will populate the relationship you need to make between your fields. So in this instance, I'm linking my inventory item data access class to my BOM item data access class, and I'm joining them in my inventory ID. By hitting add, the related table is added to your report with the relationship created automatically. You can add BOM level fields by clicking on the plus and changing the object selection to BOM. Now I have access to the fields from the BOM table. These quick tips from a reporting standpoint can help you build inquiries and reports faster and access data more easily. Now I'm not going to save that because I don't want to break that report, but that is some of the quick things from a reporting standpoint that can hopefully help you when you're building your inquiries and reports. Now to wrap things up, let me highlight a few resources that can help you continue your learning journey with MYAB Advanced. Firstly, be sure to check out the MYAB Academy for free learning videos and the MYAB Advanced Community Forum. Also, on the Verde website, you can access tips and tricks blogs, in-product help, and a dedicated YouTube channel for MYAB Advanced training with free video content. Additionally, if you ever need assistance, our Verde support team is always available to help. With these resources at your disposal, you can continue to expand your knowledge and get the most out of MYAB Advanced. And that is all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us on this webinar. I hope you found this session informative and useful for your business.